Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? Hope all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. This is Shazad Director, Assistant Teacher of Science of National Ideal English Version School, Deshit. Today I am going to take a physics class for class 10 students. My dear students, our today's topic chapter 11 discussion part 3. Today's lecture number 11 and SW number 9. My dear students, let's start our class. <coughs> Today we will discuss about the uh, resistance, about equi uh, equivalent resistance that in series circuit and in parallel circuit. My dear students, first uh, of all, we will solve a mathematical problem here given the picture. See, this is the uh, picture that is here given <coughs> a voltage that is 2 volt here given and point A, B, C and here given point D, E and F and between point A, B and E here uh, resistance R1 uh, that is given 3 ohm and uh, in uh, between point C and F here given a resistance that is R2 here given 6 ohm and this resistance is 6 ohm. So my dear students the current um, <coughs> will produce from uh, voltage B that is this battery and that is current I and the uh, 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 to the point B and C sorry B and E the current uh, the flowing current is I1 and here flowing current is I2 and my dear students see the uh, at point D E and F is connected with a uh, with ground okay now see the question determine the value of I1 and I2 the circuit is shown in this figure okay that means we have to find out the current I1 and I2 okay so the here given the voltage at point A, B and C is 2 volt here given C by uh, my dear student C here given point A, B and C um, uh, is connected with this volt that means 2 volt so here the voltage is 2 volt okay and the vol and voltage is point D, E and F is 0 because it is uh, uh, connected with ground. So the current through the resistor B, E will be current through current through the resistance B E will be I1 suppose this is I1 so I1 will be uh, from uh, Ohm's law we know that I equals to V divided by R so here given I is uh, I is 2 volt okay I is 2 volt and resistor is R1 that is 3 ohm so it will be 2 divided by 3 that means it will be uh, <coughs> Uh, suppose uh, do this calculation so it will be 2 by 3 ampere the the unit uh, sorry the uh, unit of uh, current is ampere okay now the uh, current through uh, cf that means i2 so i2 will be v divided by r2 okay it will be r1 so v divided by r2 so here v is also 2 volt because a b and c voltage is 2 volt and r2 is here given 6 ohm so it will be one third one third ampere so my dear students the total current will be i equals to total current will be i1 plus i2 so it will be i1 means 2 divided by 3 ampere plus i2 is 1 divided by 3 ampere that means it will be 1 ampere so my dear students this is the answer so i think all of you have understood this mathematical problem uh, uh, you have to practice uh, more more <coughs> like this mathematical problem now come to next one equivalent resistance in circuit uh, sir, uh, series circuit my dear students what is the uh, first of all we have to know what is series circuit see if there is more than one resistance in a circuit if there is more than one resistance in a circuit we can see that uh, we, we, we can uh, say this circuit is called series circuit so in the uh, we'll uh, see how this resistance can be considered as a single equivalent resistance my dear students see the uh, figure here given uh, uh, in this circuit here given two resistance r1 and r2 so we have learned that in uh, if there is more than one resistance in a circuit we can say this circuit is series circuit okay so in figure this figure there are two resistance and uh, c is connected to the uh, with the ground okay so its potential is zero uh, its potential will be zero and the potential of a is v okay the potential of a is v and the potential of c is zero 
so we don't know the potential of b but we know that the same amount of electric uh, current that is flow i flow through r1 and r2 the same current will flow through r1 and r2 so to keep it simple we can say the sum of two resistance uh, is the total resistance r and the current will be i equals to v by r but let us prove, prove that the rather than writing it so let us assume the potential at point b at point b is vb and uh, the uh, the point b is vb so my dear students now will prove this one see <coughs> let us assume the potential of um, the potential at point b is vv okay so uh, then the first is the, for the first resistance r1 we can write i equals to v minus c i equals to v minus bv for resistance r1 we can write i equals to v minus bv divided by r1 okay then again for resistance r2 we can write for r2 we can write i equals to vb minus vc divided by r2 okay so here vc is zero because c is uh, uh, connected with ground so vb minus zero divided by r2 so it will be vb divided by r2 now uh, the from this equation to from this two equation we can write i equals to v minus vb divided by r1 that is this one equals to this one vb divided by r2 so from this we can write uh, v minus vb into r2 we can do uh, the cross multiplication and vb into r1 so my dear students now we can uh, uh, do the multiplication that is v r2 minus vv r2 equals to vv r1 now we can write vv r1 plus vv r2 equals to vv v r2 okay now we can write vv into r1 plus r2 equals to v r2 now now we can um, write this one vv equals to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into v okay my dear students now we can write this equation vv equals to here from here we can write this equation vv equals to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into v uh, so the current will be i equals to vv divided by r2 equals to v divided by r1 plus r2 so my dear students see here we can it will uh, r1 plus r2 so we, we can imagine resistance r1 and r2 as a single resistance r so from here we can write v divided by r1 uh, r because we consider that r equals to r1 plus r2 so we can write v equals to v divided by r so my dear students if there are more than two resistances if there are more than two resistances then we can also be able to show the resistance that can be com as a uh, combined as a single resistance r which will be the sum of all those resistances okay so uh, now see here given they are given many successive resistances or resistors connected in a circuit uh, in a series circuit that can be imagined at, at a equivalent resistance or resistance so, uh, resistor so here r1 r2 r3 up to dot dot rn and uh, we can consider this uh, resistance r as r so <coughs> this is a this is called if there are more than two resistance uh, then we also would be uh, then we would be able to show that these resistances can be combined as a single resistance r which will be the sum of all those resistances and this is called equivalent resistance my dear students this is called equivalent resistance so we have learned from here what is equivalent resistance this means when a circuit will have r1 r2 r3 resistances successively in series circuit then the equivalent resistance will be r equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 up to dot dot rn so my dear students we have uh, uh, discussed the uh, 
a uh, equivalent resistance in series circuit now we'll discuss about the equivalent resistance in parallel circuit um, now we will place the resistance uh, in parallel instead of one after another uh, one after another instead of one after another this is parallel circuit we are, okay in this circuit we have named different point as a b c uh, e a b c e a b c d e and f okay so uh, point a b c uh, e and uh, and we can understand from this figure that point d e f point d e f uh, connected to the ground so their potential will be zero so the potential of a b and c in current i flows from the battery cell from the battery cell and this current goes to point b uh, uh, splits uh, the goes to point B splits into two parts that is R I1 and I2 uh, flows through the resistance R1 and R2 respectively and then point E current the, uh, then point uh, E the current converts into I and go back to as battery okay Bet, uh, and go to the battery as I and we have already said the current comes from the battery and flows through the circuit and then goes back to the battery so no electric current can be created or destroyed in this circuit so we can write that I equals to I1 plus I2 now we can find I1 and I2 so from here we, can, we will find out the I1 I1 means the VV uh, the uh, VB minus VE in this part. So here VB is V, the uh, volume, the, the voltage of VB is V and the voltage of VE is 0 because E is connected with ground. So it will be V divided by R1 and then I2, I2 is VC minus VD. So here VC is V, the volt VC means here V and v, v, VD will be 0 because D is connected with the ground. So it will be V divided by R2. So my dear students here I, the total current I equals to I1 plus I2 then, the, then we will put the <coughs> value of I1 and I2. So value of I1 is V divided by R1 plus V divided by R2. So uh, we can write uh, like this v into v, v into 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2 so my dear students this is the parallel circuit so in this case we can define an equivalent resistance uh, instead of r1 1 divided by r1 and 1 divided by r2 as r so where i equals to v divided by r and uh, 1 by r equals to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 so my dear students here many parallel resistance or resistor can be imagined as a single equivalent resistance or resistor so he r1 here r1 r2 r, um, r3 and up to dot dot rn we can uh, write this we can uh, consider this uh, resistance as a single single equivalent resistance r so uh, so my dear students if the resistance are more than two the, uh, more than two then the equivalent resistance r will be one divided by r equals to one divided by r1 plus one divided by r2 plus one divided by r3 up to dot dot one divided by rn so my dear students our today your today's resistance number is nine and here is two question what is equivalent resistance and what is parallel circuit described okay uh, uh, from our today's uh, topic we have learned that what is equivalent resistance we, you can write this question so from here and what is parallel circuit my dear students i hope all of you have understood our today's topic properly see you again in the next class allah Hafiz.